There is a chance, a good one it sounds like, that Julio Jones is going to get traded out of Atlanta. Yes! We thought this last year. Okay, I thought Matt Ryan and Julio Jones were, at the end of the season, playing their best football because they both knew they were probably going to have to get traded. Matt Ryan with $100 million guaranteed to him over the next three years. Tough trade. We thought he was balling out towards the end to show somebody like, hey, still got it. Don't worry about it. New GM, new head coach. You think there's a chance they're going to want to move on its quarterback position, especially with Justin and Fields, who's from Atlanta, potentially now at this point falling down. Yeah. Now it is alleged that Julio Jones is uh, being shopped or at least being talked about. And in this room alone, yeah. just in this room alone, and there are four individuals, uh -huh. there are four different teams that are like, <laughs> get Julio bring to our the fucking team. Come on. Come on. Come on. Indianapolis Colts, bring him in. Hey, Ballard, listen, you're much smarter than I in this whole game. I get it. I get it. But I'll tell you what would make Carson Wentz maybe play like he was playing 2017 football again. Yeah. That's T.Y. Hilton on one side, Julio fucking Jones on the other side, Jonathan Taylor, Naeem Hines, maybe even uh, uh, Paris Campbell getting out mm -hmm. there. That team, now you got weapons. Now you got your Julio Jones added to a team immediately makes me feel like, oh, they're they're going to win a Super Bowl. Yeah. You add them to the Green Bay Packers. Oh, my God. Devontae Adams on one side, Julio Jones on the other, and Aaron Rodgers potentially throwing them the rock. Now, let's not even talk about Aaron Jones and, and the sauce, mm -hmm. A.J. Dillon and Big, Big Bob, Bob Tunyon and Mercedes. I mean, there is, there's a lot of weapons there. But think about Julio now. It, as a New England Patriot. Ooh, with all the, I mean, it's just, it's in Chicago Bears. Now, they're not going to win the Super Bowl. No way. No, well, but no. definitely make team if better. Julio, Andy yeah. Dalton throw the ball to fucking Julio Jones. He is one of those guys that I think everybody in the NFL is, oh, can we get Julio Jones on our team? Atlanta has to get rid of him. They're, not him. They have to get rid of somebody yeah. and some people and renegotiate some contracts because they don't even have enough salary cap to be able to sign all of their potential drafted players. So they're going to have to make some moves, allegedly, and Julio Jones is going to happen. And uh, it will be designated post-June 1 because I guess there's a big salary uh, dead cap hit. Um, yeah. Uh, Ian Rapport says the Falcons have received calls for teams inquiring about possible trades for Julio Jones. A trade could not happen for cap reasons before June 1st, but teams know Atlanta's brutal cap situation and are calling. A deal won't happen now, but later maybe, but this is also a potential NFL thing where it happens now, but we'll just deem it later. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, so they might deem this a post-June 1 transaction due to the way contracts are set up. People have done that in the past, so why do you even have it in the contract? Mm -hmm. Interesting. What's the point? All these contracts are bullshit. No. Yeah. yeah. It's like pre-June 1, cut or trade this. Post-June 1, cut or trade this. We're going to cut you here in April, but want to let you know, we're not... We're not going to deem it until post June one. No, we got to sit on that. Okay. So, hey, we're going to trade you, but not. So whatever the case is, what that does mean though is Atlanta cannot uh, get any draft picks or give away any draft picks for this year because post June one is obviously further along down the line than. April 29th right. in the draft. So you would have to be trading future draft picks to get Julio right now if you'd like them or if you're going to wait till June 1 or whatever. And Ty, you said earlier, if this is post uh, next year, years going forward draft picks, get rid of all of them. Just all of them. Yeah. <laughs> like, we listen, we love the draft. Okay? Love it. We love the draft. We have a huge draft spectacular this week. We're all juiced for it. You know, when your team has a first round pick and you don't win the Super Bowl, like, that's the first thing you're looking forward to. But, but, Julio Jones is the kind of guy. I mean, he's like a Calvin John. He's a generational talent. You don't think a guy like that's ever going to be available. So, if you have this tight window where you can go win the Super Bowl right now, you have Aaron Rodgers. Why not give four, five, six, seven, eight first round draft picks to get Julio Jones. Okay, so to get Julio Jones, if they deem it a pre-June 1 trade where this year's draft could be used in the negotiation bargaining chips would be these, this year's pick. The dead cap is 23250000 for Atlanta, Dang, I believe. That's a lot of money. Okay. If it's a post-6-1, the 2021 dead cap is $25 million. 2022 dead cap, 15.5 million. Oh, that's for a release. Sorry, let me get past that. 2021 dead cap post 6 1 trade, 7.75 .7 million. Wow. And then 2022 dead cap, 15 million. Uh, so you kind of just kick it down the road yeah. or whatever. So it feels like if you go post June 1st, that is 
Very, very easily done here for Atlanta. Just deem it. Post. They're going to make moves. It yeah. feels oh, yeah. like Julio's going to be. Where's he going? There's no way he ends up at the Patriots. I think there is a chance, but you know, honestly, the more I think about it, just anybody but the Chiefs. Do not let the Chiefs like make this happen, or it's over. It's the season's already done. What if the Bucks figure out somehow? Oh, you think they in division? In the Jeez. division. Oh man. In the division, Tampa tells them because uh, BA, you know, in light the way we know they think about draft picks. Like, well, fuck it, like, we ain't going to be around six years from <laughs> yeah. We'll give you our next five ones. How about that? You want five first-rounders? Fuck it, take them. Here you go, pal. And they're all going to be hopefully 30 to 32, yeah, right. 29 to 32. So if you're Tampa Bay, you get Julio on the team, and you, you have that Mike Greenberg contract guru guy who's uh -huh. able to somehow sign everybody to these deals that are either voidable or signing bonus-based, and it's just like, hey, how you doing? Keep it moving. It's almost like it's a varsity team. It's going to be, continue to be just older guys. Want to go down to Tampa. We're going to play some football. Just give us $10 million in signing bonus. That's cool. Pick up a ten million dollars make our salary smaller so the salary cap is down pay whatever if they can somehow do this for the next five to ten years or whatever mm -hmm. why wouldn't you just give up potentially just yeah take four future ones i don't give a fuck well right? wouldn't you assume like obviously a lot of teams are very cap strapped right now but if a guy like julio jones is available aren't you doing pretty much whatever you can in your power to make room for him we have to remember that every wide receiver and corner that is asked Who's the best wide receiver or corner in the game? The wide receiver is going to say themselves, which they should, by the uh -huh. way. And then immediately go like, well, Julio Jones is in his own. <laughs> yeah. And they literally, everybody just says, well, Julio Jones is in his own. But other than that, it's like uh, Tyreek's up there. Devontae Adams is up there. Uh, Nuke, uh, DeAndre yeah. Hopkins is up there. Like everybody has like a similar batch. But it feels like everybody goes like, well, other than Calvin Johnson is what they used to do. Other than Julio Jones, it's like this conversation. I feel like that happens with Julio Jones. Now, there's probably some people who hate Julio Jones in the wide receiver position. But I think everybody very much understands that he's bigger, stronger, faster than everybody else, it seems like. He's a defensive end that plays wide receiver and the fact that the Falcons have been out of relevance for a little bit now because that's been the Saints division ever since obviously 28-3 I feel like people have forgot this is just like Matthew Stafford and it's a much different conversation but Matthew Stafford was held in in Detroit oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like, want to say hostage like a but prisoner pretty close he yeah. was held hostage in a city of irrelevance in the NFL oh, yeah. Thanksgiving everybody got to see him and you know what happened every Thanksgiving Matthew Stafford oh, unbelievable man. That's, that's, all all that's all anybody said Matthew Stafford's unbelievable and then as soon as Thanksgiving day is over it's like alright fucking Lions are never going to be on television <laughs> again and if they are it's going to be against Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Rodgers is going to be able to do what Aaron Rodgers does yeah. so now that he's in LA I think a lot of people are going to be like Holy fuck. And I think since people have potentially forgot about Julio, that situation could happen again, especially if he's going to a new place where he has to quote unquote prove himself again mm -hmm. and kind of get refreshed and comfortable. I mean, he remember a couple years ago, well, he deleted Atlanta Falcon stuff from all That's his right. Instagram. Uh -huh. That's right. uh, yeah. <laughs> the Rams would be a perfect place for him too. Yeah. Speaking of Stafford, add him to that McVay offense. It's Do they have any money? I, I thought they cleared so. a lot from the golf. Really? But also... They, they had to pay a lot for the golf, too. Yeah. yeah. They gave up a lot for it, yeah. Yeah, but they did get... Now, granted, there's a place that goes three future ones, two future... We don't right. get... Yeah. Hey, yeah. just... Forget it. Hey, how do you... Because I don't know if they'd be able to get Julio because of the future ones that they gave up for Matthew Stafford, but what if they were like, all right, how about... Uh, 2024, 2025, 2026, and 2029. Yeah. First yeah. rounders. Mm -hmm. Okay, deal. Cool. Yeah, we'll fucking deal with that later. Or That's literally what NFL teams are doing, I think. Yeah.